This is 1991, you sum up problem number 5, and here is a view of this problem. We are given a triangle ABC, as well as a point D, alongside AB of our triangle. And D is a variable point, so I can move it along uh, AB. The point E is defined as the intersection of CD, this Chavian CD, and this common external tangent um, let's call these label these two points these tangency points as r and s so it's just the intersection of cd and rs now the question says as we move d along a, a the side ab we need to figure the loci of the points e and apparently we need to prove further that the point e is in fact tracing an arc along a circle like any other loci uh, type of problems, uh, obviously what you need to do is to guess, well, when I say guess, I mean quote-unquote guess. What I really mean is to really analyze, to find out where the center of that circle can be. So, you can probably right now pause the video and work on this graph a little bit, try to see if you can so make your own drawings, you have all of your geometry tools, right? Your protractor, all of the other stuff, your compass and everything. Try to see if you can guess the center of that circle, the lo locations of the point E as you move D alongside AB, right? You can try to make the point D very close to the point A and see where E goes to. And then very close to point B, see where E goes to, and from there, you, from close to those two extremes, you, you, and then somewhere in the middle, so you can try to guess the, lo the loci of the points E. Okay, so I assume that you paused the video, and now I would like to uh, reveal the answer. So as it turns out, if you did the uh, drawings well, uh, you should be able to guess that the center of that circle would actually be the point C. And obviously, because E is on that circle, uh, the radius of that circle would be CE. Now we need to prove that. Okay, so what it means is, because CE we, we claim would be the radius of that circle, if I can show that the length CE is not um, a variable distance, but it's rather fixed, given the, the, the side length ABC, for instance, then uh, that would do it, right? So I need to express the radius of that circle, which is CE, in terms of something which is not changing in the picture, like the side lengths or the circumradius or something like that. So that's our goal. So our goal is to come up with an expression for CE. Okay, so let's see if we can express CE in terms of the, in the invariance of this picture. All right, so obviously uh, what I have is uh, a picture with a lot of tangency points. Let me first mark these tangencies. I already marked two of these. So let's mark these two tangencies as M and N. And finally, maybe uh, I can mark these two as P and Q. So I will express CE in two different ways. So CE is equal to, oh, there's two more tangencies here that I just missed. So, um, Let's say F and G maybe, F and G. Okay, so uh, CE is simply equal to CF minus EF. That's clear. And alternatively, you can write CE as CG minus uh, EG. CG minus EG. Now let's see if we can further manipulate these. So CF minus EF, well, CF is equal to CP by equal tangents. Does that make sense? So that's just CP minus, and how about EF? EF is equal to ER, again, by equal tangents. In a similar way, CG is just CQ by equal tangents, this time on this circle, obviously, the second, the right circle, minus uh, EG is simply ES which is quite clear. Again, from the point E, we are drawing two tangents to the circle on the right side, and ES is obviously equal to EG. That makes sense. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, add these uh, two quantities. Um, and so, if I, well, the, the sum of the left-hand side is 2CE, so this would imply 2CE, 
2 times CE is equal to CP plus CQ. So let's keep that one. CP plus CQ um, minus, well, actually, uh, in order to save some space, let me work on it. So CP is, well, CP is just CA minus AP. So let's write that down. CA minus AP plus, okay, so we're done with this one. CQ is just CB minus BQ. CB minus BQ. And finally, minus ER plus ES. ER plus ES is just RS, right? Does that make sense? And finally, so let's keep uh, working on this expression, CA minus AP. But AP is simply AM. And obviously, CA is just length uh, side B, right? So we can just say B minus, so for the first one, B minus CA is just B, distance B. And AP, we can replace it with AM plus, and CB is in a similar way, it's just length A minus BQ is equal to BN, again, by equal tangents. And finally, RS. Uh, RS, due to symmetry, is equal to MN. RS and MN are uh, external tangents to these two circles. Does that make sense? So this is just minus MN. Now we can finish the problem. Uh, we just realized that so we have uh, A plus B minus, we have, uh, let's bundle them together, AM plus BM. Actually, let's put MN first. MN plus, uh, I'll write BN as NB. AM plus MN plus NB, that's just AB. That's just nice. So we have A plus B plus, sorry, minus AB. But AB is just the length C, side length C. So we have A plus B minus C. But recall that this is equal to 2 CE. So this implies that uh, our prospective circle has a uh, CE is equal to, um, it was probably better to write it like this, one half A plus B minus C. And indeed, all these are fixed because we are given a fixed triangle ABC, but look at CE. CE is a constant. So as I change D, the location of E changes, but the distance CE is fixed. Does that make sense? So therefore, this distance is um, traces a circle. So as D moves, E moves, and it traces a circle centered at point C. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video and looking forward to see you guys in our next lecture.